Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the numerology and the energy for both the collective and the individual life path numbers for March 2022. As with all of these monthly videos, it's very important that you listen to the, the, the part for the collective because we are each a part of the collective. And that energy is what's really going to be potent during this time. And so it, it ties in with your individual life path number. That's why I don't put timestamps. This, of course, is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. I have also just recently started offering one-to-one face-to-face over Zoom, Life Path Coaching with Numerology. If this is something that you're interested in, this is an opportunity for a one-hour session where we dive in deeply into your numerology chart to discuss anything you want to discuss that you're currently facing or that may be coming up for the future for you. Um, If that's something that you're interested in, just book some time with me. I would absolutely love to meet you face-to-face and to work with you in that way. Okay, So let's go ahead and take a look at the energies for March. So March ushers in the universal cycle of the nine energy. During this cycle, we can find that we're able to think more abstractly and not quite so rigidly when it comes to our belief systems and how we move through the world. Nine energy is that of the humanitarian. It's an energy that honors self while also bringing in service towards others. So by opening our minds and our hearts, we can begin to see things from a broader perspective where greater, more elevated solutions lie. Aligned nine energy sets out to bring people together with an emphasis on equality and justice for all. It's an energy of no one being left behind because if someone is struggling, ultimately we're all struggling in some way. So where we can find ways to coexist while doing no harm, then we're able to be a part of the greater circle. If one is being pushed out from that circle, it creates a gap that in one way or another, we all end up feeling, especially energetically. So nine energetic cycles help us to find ways to do our individual part for the greater good, for the collective, and to bridge the gap, which I think now more than ever, we could use this energy. So. It's just, it's beautiful energy, especially for March, especially for this time in history. So definitely work with it the best that you can throughout the month and always, but it's very potent this month. This is also a completion cycle. So it can indicate attainment, things coming to fruition from past efforts, such as rewards, earnings, um, return of investments. This is going to be a situation where you've put in the effort previously and now you're seeing those things again coming to fruition or coming to closure and it can be closure that's abrupt or it can be closure that you're just kind of tying up that bow really nicely and moving on to the next thing. It can also indicate things falling away so that new seeds can begin to grow, creating a greater foundation for your future cycles. Similar to when we sort of lose our baby teeth as children so that our adult teeth can come in, shedding what no longer works or no longer supports us for something that does. Though this isn't the best energy for sort of starting anything big or new, it's more of a time for setting the intentions and making the preparations this, for this cycle to begin, right? So this cycle can feel somewhat busier than normal with a lot of like added responsibilities being added to your plate. You can see a tremendous amount of inspirations and ideas Um, psychic and intuitive downloads coming in for you now. Pay extra attention to your dreams at this time and any kind of, again, visions that you have, ideas, inspirations. Now, this isn't necessarily, like I said, this isn't the the, the cycle where we would necessarily take action on those inspirations or those big ideas. Although, you know, we have to go with what comes up for us. So if life dictates that you need to take action, then take action. Don't let this sort of um, prevent you from doing that. But this isn't the most supportive energy for um, big, big ideas taking root when we take action on them just yet. This is the time for the sort of the incubation period, the ideas coming in, sort of exploration of those ideas and those inspirations and maybe planning and deciding how we want to take action on these ideas. And then in the month of, in uh, the months that follow, 
then taking those big risks, those big uh, um, inspired action, right? So this is going to be a time again to really sink into the more ethereal, sink into the inspirations, the ideas, the dreams. The dreams are going to be coming in very vividly, very strongly for those of you that are especially sensitive to that. Um, you could notice that again, your intuitive powers are even stronger during this time. You could notice that again, your psychic powers are, are much more um, profound at this time, much more vivid. So pay attention to that. A lot of times that can, that can hold messages. So we just need to be open to it, take note of it, and then revisit it down the road if we need to. So this is not going to be a, a, a cycle where, um, self-serving or overly self-indulgent uh, endeavors we supported. Instead, broad compassion, kindness, understanding, and more evolved actions are the ones that will gain the most traction. Friendships and relationships of all kinds can prosper and grow during this time, especially those that hold a similar vision for the greater good. So pay attention to who enters your sphere at this time, your, you know, your reality, your experience, or who re-enters your life now. They could play a key role in the journey ahead. So be open to who you meet and the messages that they hold and the wisdom that they, they've come to share. Um, this could be very important for your journey forward. Be mindful not to sort of cling to or get overly attached to experiences, people, or emotions that have run their course and that need to be released. Replaying events or stories in your head only to beat yourself up with them aren't allowing you to move forward into a sort of greener pastures, right? We may need to sort of shovel the, <laughs> the manure every now and then, but we certainly don't need to sit in it. So extract the wisdom, release the person, place or thing with an open heart and with gratitude for their contribution and move along. There is much more adventure to be had beyond the self-created gates that we often create for ourselves, right? Release that stagnant energy and look forward to the future with joy and high expectation for what awaits you around the next corner, for what you'll create from these big ideas, these big dreams, these big inspirations that could be coming in for you during this cycle. This is incredibly beautiful, ethereal, creative um, energy and just a time again for exploration on the softer side of things. So definitely embrace it to the best of your ability. Again, the energy can be present. It's always what we choose to do with it that makes the difference. Okay, on to the life path number. Life path number four, my fellow fours. So I pulled an animal spirit card for us for the month of March, and we got coyote spirit, which is very fitting, actually. I've been hearing for several months now, I've been hearing coyotes outside my, my, my window at night. Um, it's actually quite beautiful. But anyway, uh, so here's coyote spirit for March. Coyote's message to us for the month of March is trust in divine detours. So my friends, we may be seeing some detours coming up for us in March. And really, this is just a reminder that, you know, if something that you, you know, you were headed on a vision, you were headed to towards something and it didn't work out, it didn't work out the way that you had planned, um, you had to do additional steps or, again, things just didn't work out the way that you had planned or you find yourself moving in a different direction. That is not failure. That is not a reflection of your capabilities or, you know, whatever it is that we want to, whatever idea it is that we want to use to kind of beat ourselves up about it. Oftentimes when that happens, it's a beautiful thing. It's a divine intervention to, you know, move us into the direction that we're actually supposed to be moving into because we can get really tunnel vision. We can have tunnel vision, right? We can get so focused on something and, you know, getting to that end goal to that destination that we miss the cues saying this is no longer aligned or this is no longer at your frequency like maybe you've leveled up in frequency and now what it, whatever it was that you were moving towards is no longer in alignment and there's something better in alignment for you and so you kind of get ushered onto this other path um, sometimes it's through you know facing just incredible challenges around whatever this is to the point where you finally say this is not worth my investment of energy any longer 
and you change direction and understand that no matter how much time, energy, money, resources you put into that thing, it's okay to change course, right? If it no longer feels aligned, it's okay to change course. It's actually good to change course. You don't want to keep putting your precious energy into something that's not aligned with who you are. It could also be that the universe steps in and does it for you. So it's like, again, you've got the blinders on, you're, you're focused, you're moving towards something, you know, because force can be really, really persistent <laughs> and ambitious. Um, and so you have that tunnel vision, and then sometimes the universe just comes in with divine intervention and sort of removes that from, removes that option, right? And you're forced to, to change direction. And that can kind of feel like a slap in the face a little bit, it can feel like a punch in the gut, but sometimes, I would say all times, is for our higher good. It's to redirect us into the direction, into onto the path that we're meant to, our soul wants to be moving on, right? Because the ego can get caught up in, I have to finish this. I have to um, reach that summit. It's kind of like I just used this example for, I can't remember which number it was, but um, but it's very aligned with this message. It's kind of like in Colorado, you know, we have all these these like 13ers and 14ers. And a lot of times during the summer months, we'll hike those mountains. And, you know, you have to be up to summit and back down to tree line by like one or two in the afternoon because that's when the storms start coming in. And Colorado has some of the highest lightning strikes in the world, um, deaths by lightning strikes. And so it's just like this, this saying that's like the summit will always be there. Like don't risk your life for something that, you know what I'm saying? Something's so trivial. And so it's kind of the same thing. It's like recognizing when something is no longer for you. Like if we're hiking up to the summit, we see a storm coming in, but we're, we've got so much ego that we're like, I'm going to make the summit. I've set out to do this. I'm going to do it. And then we're caught in the middle of an electrical storm. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not worth it, you know? So it's having that, that wisdom and that self-awareness to be able to be like, you know what? I don't, this is not for me right now. I'm going to change direction and go towards something that is. And in that example, it would be not making summit and just going back down to, from where you started and trying again another day if you want. But with this, it's just a reminder. It's okay to give up on something. It's okay to throw in the towel. It's okay to change direction, no matter how much time you have invested into something, no matter how much energy, resources, or money. Sometimes we will find that justification or use that, those excuses to sort of beat ourselves up for not getting to the finish line. But maybe we've extracted everything we need to extract off this path. And so now it's time to move down a different one. And so Coyote's message is, I think is just a reminder that if something shifts for you this month, significantly in relationships and career, in how you present yourself to the world and how you view the world, whatever, um, don't beat yourself up about changing direction. It's okay. And it actually is a show of self-awareness to be like, okay, this is no longer for me. I'm changing direction or, you know, whatever the case may be, or this relationship has taught me everything I need to know about whatever. And so it's okay to release it if it's no longer working. Um, I think sometimes we like police ourselves to the point where we um, shame ourselves when we're not able to complete what we, we set out to complete. And sometimes we're just not meant to. So just kind of keep that in mind as shifts occur this month, if they do, and or as things come up that kind of push you in a different direction, explore the other direction. See if it calls to you. And maybe you need to make some decisions around that, and that's okay. So when I look at the energy ahead, very beginning of the month, we have some kind of beautiful offer coming in around finances, resources, money, new job offer potentially, or some opportunity to collaborate with someone or people um, to get a cash flow going. There's something here very physical, but it's like an offer of something that will have a return of investment. It feels kind of like a small start. So don't, you know, you might have these high expectations. Just see it for what it is in the present moment and just see the potentiality of it and embrace that and work with it, especially if it calls to you. So definitely an opportunity here for you to potentially work with someone to make an offer to work with someone, someone coming to you with an opportunity or an offer. Again, I don't feel like March is necessarily the time to take big action unless we absolutely have to, but it's definitely 
like those ideas, those inspirations, all of that coming in or the offers potentially coming in and the opportunities. So that could potentially be coming in at the beginning of the month. Something to do again with like finances, career, funding, um, working with someone, part business partnership, something like that. <clears throat> and I would say explore it, whatever it is. Even if it seems smaller than you anticipated or doesn't really seem, maybe it's a detour, maybe it's taking you on a different path than where you were headed, that's okay. Explore it, see where it takes you. This is kind of the month for doing that, okay? Uh, again, see, to see what sticks, to see what speaks to you, to see what calls. Um, definitely take advantage of that. Mid-month, a couple of things coming in here around mid-month. For some of you, this could be um, a, this could be a, a wedding. This could be getting engaged. This could be the opposite of that, which is like a relationship ending, a relationship coming to completion, divorce, something like that. Um, a relationship that's sort of run its course, coming to completion. Remember, we're in this nine cycle, so that's very, very possible. Um, something to do with home, some kind of change in home, and again, some kind of redirection when it comes to your family, your home life. This could be um, one of your children getting married, getting engaged, moving out of the house, something like that. This could be um, having a child or something like that as well, finding out that you're pregnant. Um, pregnancy could be a big key factor, but there's definitely something around like home life, family, um, re relationships that are like in the family unit. So like close relationships and something to do with um, your belief systems around those relationships, um, how you're showing up to those relationships. Um, and again, kind of like contracts, so soul contracts. So this could be a soul contract ending, a soul contract beginning. And so this could be like somebody coming into your awareness that is very significant and could have a very big impact on your, your journey. But this is, again, we're talking about soul contract. So this is the ethereal. This is like you had you put this contract in place before you both came here. And so the soul is entering. So again, this can be a very significant coming together. Um, you could meet somebody, again, who has a very, you feel a very strong connection to a very strong um yeah, almost like you've known each other for lifetimes. That's very, very possible. It could also be the completion of a karmic cycle. So the completion of some kind of relationship that's no longer relevant, no longer, you know, that's, that contract has been completed. Um, that's very possible as well. And I would say if that's the case, to not fight that and to let it be released. Um, whatever it is that was contracted before coming here has been has been um, has been uh, completed, and so you know, don't cling to it, type thing. So a lot coming in mid month around relationships, home life, family, um, soul contracts, that sort of thing. And again, it could include detours of sorts. So just kind of keep that in mind. And then I also am kind of drawn to that because at the end of the month we have some. Um, kind of like more emotional energy coming in, but I also see you moving to like calmer waters. So if there's something that's been emotionally challenging, emotionally draining, emotionally overwhelming, I just sort of see you moving to calmer waters now to where it doesn't feel so like internal. I mean, I know like a lot of March is Pisces season, and so it is really emotive energy, but at the end of the month of March, we go into airy season. And so it's more about self, right? So, and that's really what we're looking at here is at the end of the month. So I do see things where maybe it was a little bit more um, emotional throughout March. I see you kind of moving to calmer waters now. So where it doesn't feel so internal. So like, you know what I mean? Like it's more now looking, we're looking to the external and how we can um, do whatever it is that we need to do in the months that follow. So if there has been something that has been felt incredibly overwhelming emotionally for you or you've been struggling with emotionally, I think you're going to find some respite at the end of the month and you're going to see yourself being able to kind of maneuver those waters and make your way to calmer waters. So beautiful energy there. But again, be open to the detours because a lot of the energy this month for us is going to be about just honoring those detours and not seeing it as personal failure. 
not seeing those detours as a reflection of our capabilities or our worth or any of those things, but rather as a gift. Um, because again, it's kind of like what's meant for us is going to find us. And, you know, we can't cling to the things that are no longer meant for us because that just holds us back. And if we continue down a path that's not meant for us, then it's it's delaying the progression forward in so, of our soul's pro, uh, progress. So that's when we start to see the divine intervention come in to be like, nope, we need, just need to shift you in this direction. So we may see that come in throughout the month. So just be aware of it and try to go with the flow as much as possible. All right, fours, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for listening. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.